Every 50 years, Saratoga celebrates the birthday of Saratoga Racecourse, and 2013 is going to be the biggest party yet, with over 200 events scheduled between May 1st and September 30th. The racecourse attracts close to 1 million people each year who spend millions of dollars supporting tax revenues for our government, a second Christmas season for our merchants, summer jobs for our residents, but perhaps most importantly, a quality of life for us all and one that is second to none. Let's take a peek at the last 150 years to see why this celebration is so special. The history of this enduring attraction is a story about people, sports, majestic horses, political life and social life. It's not just a story about a town and its famous racetrack, but about America itself. Central to the plot is how Saratoga Springs, America's first national resort, gave birth to America's first national sport, horse racing. And they're off. It's a story about how a small city and its favorite attraction helped each other survive through depressions, reform movements, world wars, and often government regulations to emerge into periods of renaissance and success. It began against a backdrop of tourism in a place simply known as The Springs, a resort world famous for its unique waters. Thousands of visitors were attracted to its grand hotels to socialize and take advantage of the once thought healing powers of its spring waters. Every great story has compelling characters. Saratoga's has many. In 1863, a professional gambler, politician, and prize fighter by the name of John Morrissey, organized Saratoga's first thoroughbred races to complement the spa's many other attractions. William Collins Whitney laid the foundation for excellence in racing at the very beginning of the 20th century after a reform movement and bad management left the sport tarnished. For over 150 years, Saratoga racing has brought the rich and famous to town. American presidents, Grant, Roosevelt, Van Buren, business magnates, Vanderbilt, Carnegie and Whitney, and colorful characters, Diamond Jim Brady, Lillian Russell, Lucky Luciano, and Meyer Lansky. In the early years, the city's national popularity as a tourist destination was reflected in a cityscape that included the two largest hotels in the world and a 5,000-seat convention hall. Affirmed, moving up on the outside with Ali Dar, approaching the 16th pole, affirmed... And... On the horse side, Man of War, Whirl Away, Secretariat, Rachel Alexandra and fan favorite Four Star Dave made Saratoga their summer home. A home referred to in horse racing as the Graveyard of Champions because of the many famous upsets on the track. During the Roaring Twenties, the national social trends were defined by the Saratoga scene. High quality cuisine, service, and illegal gambling defined the Saratoga lake houses. The best entertainment of the day, including Bing Crosby and Sophie Tucker headlined, Riley's, The Brook, The Piping Rock, and many others operated illegally until the early 1950s when they were shut down by state and federal governments due to the influence of organized crime. Following World War II, improved transportation and communication nationally led to the bleakest decade in the Queen of Spas history. The race course continued to attract thousands each day, keeping the city alive. <laughs> Beginning in the early 1960s, Saratogians, with the support of the horse racing families, began a grassroots effort to breathe new life into the dying queen. The construction of the National Museum of Racing, the Holiday Inn, and the Saratoga Performing Arts Center began the city's comeback. Today, Saratoga has reclaimed its reputation as a major visitor destination, due in large part to the joint efforts of residents and the horse racing community. Yes, the crown is back on the Queen of Spas. Now that you've had a taste of our past, come and enjoy the full flavor of this summer's sesquicentennial celebration. Over 200 events are planned, including a betters ball, a family night at SPAC, a series of military encampments during the month of June, an equestrian film festival at Skidmore, a floral parade, and an original music score commissioned in honor of the race course to be performed by the Philadelphia Orchestra. Don't miss this party.